Welcome to the Golf Summer Series race number 15. Today we are here at Exhibition Praise in Toronto, Canada for the Honda 300. Now the format for today's race is going to be a little bit different since this place can only hold up for 30 cars. So here is the format for today. So the top 25 in points going into this race are locked into the main Honda 300. And as for the bottom 10 in points, they will take place in a heat race with only 5 laps. The top 5 finishers of said heat race will then advance over to the main event Honda 300 along with the other 25 point drivers. And also the points will still be awarded like normal so even if you miss the main event you will still get scored like normal. So without further ado let's get things started starting with our heat race. So here we go I got the bottom 10 drivers and points all lined up and ready to go. Let's go over the starting lineup which was decided by random draw. So here we go on the pole we have Carter Board and next room we run up from Atlanta Cody Boggs. Row 2, Jordan Scout and Sabretooth, your winner from Sonoma. Row 3, HS and Nathan Baird, your winner from Rockingham. Row 4, Nick Sant and its movement. And in row 5, Dominic Payment and Nargan Scott. So before we get things going, let's take a look at the check info here for today. So we're going to go 5 laps in the heat race, 17 laps in the main event as I mentioned on this 1.8 mile long street course with the water here at Toronto being 78 degrees Fahrenheit with 9 mile prior lane towards the south. And now it's time for the starting command for the heat race. Drivers, start your engines! So pace car darts down pit road. A sellout crowd here in Toronto, Canada for our first international race of the year. As we're on the green here in the heat race. Great start already for Carter Boyd in the five. He clears the seven of Cody Boggs going into turn number one. Field still a side by side here on Lakeshore Boulevard going into turn number three. The two Atlanta Motorsport cars are Cody Boggs and Jordan Scout there, settled in second and third. And coming back towards the start finish line, Carter Boyd will lead lap number one. As of right now, the drivers that would advance to the main event is Carter Boyd, Cody Boggs, Jordan Scout, Sabretooth, and HS. There's Cody Boggs there in second, as I mentioned, coming off a runner-up finish in Atlanta. Came into this race 31st in the point standings. You got Jordan Scout there in the 54 right behind him. Sabretooth in the 66 there in fourth. One of the few Golf Summer Series winners we have here in this heat race. As I mentioned, he was the winner at Sonoma back in race number 7. There was HS there in the 61 and 5th. Currently has the last spot to get in the main event. There was Nathan Baird there, 6th, in front of his former ride. He was your winner at Rockingham, winning his first career Golf Super Series start. There was Nick Sant in 7th. Had a decent showing in Atlanta last weekend. He came into this race 33rd in the boy standings. That 40 team has had nothing but battle up throughout this entire season. It's Movement in 8th. If you told me earlier this season that Movement was going to be in this race, I thought you'd been, you would have been crazy. Because he was the pulling sweeter for the early part of the season for quite some time. There's Dominic Payment there in 9th. 
and Nargan Scott runs off the rest of the field here. Well over a half of a second gap separates the 61 and 37 for that final spot to get in the main event. As we will come to two laps to go here in Toronto. Car to board is what every single lap here in the heat race. This lineup here for qualifying has mostly been unchanged. Very little passing so far. On board for the back bumper of Car to board here. And especially on these straightaways, Cody Boggs' his car is merely just a dot on his rearview mirror. As he has over a second lead on the 7. HS still trying to hold on to Nathan Baird for that final spot. As this time by, white flags in the air. Roughly two more miles left here in Toronto to decide who will be in the main event. Cody Boggs almost gained a whole tenth of car to board there that last lap. I don't think it's enough to pass him. A dominating performance indeed for the five car Carter Boyd. And because of that, a lot of confidence and momentum will be heading to that team going into the main event. Through turns 10 and 11 for the final time, checkered flag is leaving. Carter Boyd will win the Toronto Heat Race. Cody Boggs, Jordan Scout, Sabretooth, and HS will also advance to the main event here today. Congratulations to Carter Board for winning this heat race, as well as the rest of the top five for advancing over to the main event. But let's take a look at the finishing results for this heat race now. So here we go, Carter Board finishes first, Cody Boggs finishes second, Jordan Scout finishes third, Sabretooth comes home fourth, and HS round jockey top five. Like I said, those are your five advancing over to the main event here coming up shortly. Four Chevys, one Dodge. Nathan Baird finishes 6th, Nick Sant 7th, it's Movement in 8th, Dominic Payment in 9th, and Nargan Scott finishes last in 10th. So coming up next is the main event, the Honda 300 here from Toronto. We'll be right back with you guys after this message. Welcome back to the Golf Summer Series here from Toronto, Canada. We're about ready to get set here for the Honda 300. We just wrapped up a five-lap heat race, and now these 30 drivers who are able to advance into today's main event are about ready and set here in Canada's biggest city. But before we get started, let's take a look at our starting lineup, also decided by random draw. So on the pole, we have Brad Rareem, and next to him, Sean Ard. Row 2, points leader Dan Mattiello and Keyshawn Richardson, both winners at road courses this season. Row 3, Alexander Jones and Dan DJ. Row 4, Aiden Thomas and Hoodlum. Row 5, Random J and Jason Albert. Row 6, Sabretooth who advanced from the Heat Race and Brandon Krogers. Row 70, winner from the Heat Race, Carter Boyd and Ryan Wilson. Row 8, Johnny Hernandez and Slayer. Row 9, Adam Bowden and Lucas Almario. Row 10, last week's winner, Jimmy and Kellen Baker. Row 11, Maldi, Fan, Fife, and Lipsy. 
Row 12, Jordan Scout and Cody Boggs also advanced from the heat race. Row 13, Jake from State Farm and Owen Miles. Row 14, Richard Herman and Devin Payment. And in row 15, it's Ryan Benjamin and HS who also advanced from the heat race. And from the third consecutive race in a row, is starting last. And now it's time for the starting command. Drivers, start your engines! Pace car darts down pit road once again. Fans on their feet here in Toronto as the Honda 300 is underway. Brad Reem clears the 19 of Sean Ard going into turn number one and into turn. And now down the back straightaway in Lakeshore Boulevard. Turns three and four. Most of the field still side by side here. The top three currently being single file. And coming off turns 10 and 11, Brad Reem will lead lap number one here at Toronto. He has almost already a full second on Sean Art, the 19, trying to chase down his second win of the season. Sean came in this race 24th in the points thing, so barely advanced into this main event. Matt TL in third, trying to get his third Golf Summer Series victory this season and his second out of road course. Current with a point sword, as I mentioned. Alexander Jones, fourth. Currently 21st in points. Aiden Thomas in fifth. He was your winner at Talladega this past June. Currently sixth in points. Currently has four top fives and five top tens. Keyshawn Richardson in six, usually winner from Old Spice, our first road course race of the season. He came in this race 22nd in points. Dan DJ in seventh, he came in this race fifth in points. Kind of regressing a little bit after a great stretch of races during late June and early July. There was Hodulum there in eighth, coming off the top five finish last week in Atlanta. Random J in ninth, also coming off the top five finish in Atlanta. Random has been so far having a really good second half of the season here in the Golf Summer Series. He came in his race 10th in points. First time he's been in the top 10 in points since race number two. Jason Albert hits the ball there. Trying to hold off Sabretooth there for 10th. As I mentioned, Sabretooth did advance in this race via the heat race, while Jason Albert came in his race third in points. Sabretooth also has some right side damage there to that 66 car. It's currently 11, just outside the top 10. First time he's ran outside the top 5 in any of the road course races so far. He's also currently the highest running key driver in this race so far. Carter Boyd in 12, as I mentioned, he was your winner from that heat race. Brady Carruthers behind him in 13. Came in this race 15th in points. Has had lots of bad luck during the past several races after being a points leader going into the bye week in June. 
Johnny Hernandez in 14th, Ryan Wilson in 15th. Johnny came in his race 4th in points, or Ryan came in his race 17th. Adam Bowden came in his race 12th in points, just outside the top 10 in points. Slayer there, tons of damage already to both the left side and right side of that car. He came into this race knife in points. Lucas Almario there, he won it from the Firecracker 400. Jimmy he won it from Atlanta last weekend, running 18th and 19th respectively, and Kellen Baker 20th. He's currently second in points, but lost that points lead after Matt Tierra won the roll them. Valdea fan wife there in 21st, and speaking of the Roval, there's Lipsy there in 22nd. He, of course, blew an engine for only two laps to go at that race, which is so far probably the most infamous blunder of all the Golf Summer Series this season. Here, Cody Bogg and Jordan Scout there, both Atlanta most of drivers advanced from the heat race, as I mentioned. Owen Miles in 25th. He came in this race 18th in points after losing seven positions after Atlanta last weekend was involved in the wreck and finished two laps down. Jake from State Farm was also involved in that wreck. He came in this race 11 points. Richard Herman in 27th, Devin Payment in 28th. Ryan Benjamin in 29th. And HS and we still last in 30th. Anyways, back to your leader here, Brad Rurimi. He's about every single lap here so far at Toronto. Trying to chase down his first Golf Summer Series victory. He came in his race 7 points. Has been relatively consistent throughout the entire season. As we're on board here with Sean Arden in the 19th. Coming to 11 laps to go already here in Toronto, as this is one of the shortest races we have all year. Currently, Brad Rima is over a full second lead on Sean Arden, almost a two second lead on Dan Mattiello. Absolutely dominating this race so far as we come to 10 laps to go here in Toronto. HS still in last place currently. I don't think lap trap is going to be a factor in this race, unlike last week in Atlanta. No new season fact with the 22 team going in this race. Brad Rurim only had three laps led throughout the entire season. Well, let's look at the triple down already here today. Nine laps to go, Brad Rima officially triples 
the amount of laps he's led this season going into this race. Sean Art is gaining a little bit of time on the 22 there. Gap went from almost 1.4 seconds to now 1.3 seconds. Eight laps to go here in Toronto. And of course, this race is one of two international racers are going to this year. The other being Yas Marino and Abu Dhabi. We'll be going there next month. The running order so far remaining pretty much the same throughout the entire race. Of all these cars spread apart in a single fly, I was on board with the 17 and Mattiello now. Ooh, that time by Sean Art almost gained two tenths on Bradbury Ream for the lead. So he is catching him, albeit pretty slowly. Look through your running order again, Dan DJ still in seventh. Little Bonnet from some right side damage to that three car. Barely made it into the main event by a mere three points. Kind of ironic. <laughs> 53 still in ninth. Jason Albert still holding on to 10th. Has for the most part been pretty solid during these road course races. Saber Team's also no driver's been doing really good in these road course races. Has had finishes a second, first, second, and now currently 11th. And you should have our road course races so far. Carter Boyd still in 12th, your winner from the heat race. Brady Corrector is still behind him in 13th. Spine Biffin not having a good day at all so far. With Dominic Payment not making it into the main event, as well as most of the teammates who made it into this race, running rather mediocre. There's Slayer, Lucas Amario, Jimmy, Kellen Baker still running back here. Mount New Fan for Life there, as I mentioned in 21st. Coming off a top 15 run in Atlanta. Lipsy still in 22nd, coming off a top 10 in Atlanta. Cody and Jordan Scout there, still 23rd and 24th respectively.
both Atlanta Motorsport drivers came into this race deep in the points, below the top 30 in points. Owen Miles in 25th still. Jake from State Farm still running 26. Richard Herman, 27th. He came to this race 13th in points. He's slowly climbing back up to the top 10 in points after winning on Armory Digital for our first race of the season. But unfortunately, a 27th place run won't cut it for a 95 team that's mostly been inconsistent this season. Ryan Benjamin still in 28th. Davin Payment, 29th. While his spine of a teammate, HS, still currently in last position. Anyways, four laps to go here in Toronto. Sean Art continues to close in. Currently, the gap between the 22 and 19 has mostly been the same, just a little less than 1.2 seconds. Meanwhile, Matteo has over a two second gap on Brad Marine, Alexander Jones over a three second gap, and Ana Thomas with a four and a half second gap. And he knows how the gap between the 22 and the rest of the top 10 goes quite literally down the line. Three laps to go here in Toronto. Can the 19 catch up? It looks like that time by Sean did actually catch up a little bit to Brad Reem. Take a look at the fastest laps here from today. Aiden Thomas currently has the fastest lap. Nice. With Bradbury Ream in second and Jason Albert in third. Sean R is now 1.12 seconds behind Brad and Ream, but I don't think that's going to be enough time for the 19 to catch up as we come to two laps to go here in Toronto. The 22 that time by did gain a little bit of time on the 19. 1.12 seconds to now 1.15 seconds. On board with the 19 is Sean Art here again. And just like at the Roval, most of these road courses we have been to, the cars in front of you, they seem like really close when you go into the turns, but in the straightaways, they're really just a dot. And coming off turns 10 to 11, Brad Vereem will see the white flag here in Toronto. One last lap here in Toronto. Sean R gains a little bit more time on Brad Vereem, but I don't think it's going to be enough to catch him. Down Lakeshore Boulevard and into turns 3 and 4 for the final time to 22. Can he's the pull away. Down Prince Boulevard into turn number five and six. In the turn is eight and nine, and into ten and eleven. 
And coming off the final corner, Brad Rareem, after leading every single lap, will see the checkered flag. He wins here at Toronto. Congratulations to Brad Rareem and Railfan Motorsports. They are your winners here today at Toronto. They not only won the pole, but also led every single lap. Let's take a look at the top 10 after today's race as well as the finishing results. So here we go, Brad Rareem finishes first, Sean Ard finishes second, Dan Matteo finishes third, fourth is Alexander Jones, Aiden Thomas finishes fifth, Keyshawn Richardson in sixth, Dan DJ comes home seventh, Hood one finishes eighth, Random J in ninth, and Jason Albert rounds off your top 10 here today. And now for the point standings, Matt Tiel is still your points leader with 477 points. Jason Albert moves up to second in points behind by 20. Brad Ream behind by 22 in third, kind of fitting. Aiden Thomas in fourth, behind by 26. Johnny Hernandez behind by 27th, down to fifth. Dan DJ in sixth, behind by 28, also kind of fitting. Seventh is Kellen Baker, down by 30 points. And remember, coming into this race, he was second in the point standings, but has now fallen all the way down to seventh after that rather mediocre performance here today. Which goes to show that every point really matters here this season. Anyways, Random J up to 8th, bound by 48, a full race behind Dan Mattiello. Slayer, 9th, bound by 54, and Jimmy rounds off your top 10, behind by 55. Oh boy, race number 16 will be the Hulu 400 from Orlando International Speedway for our 4th Super Speeder Race of the Year. That will be on our channel next weekend. And judging from our other Super Speeder races and the fact that we're actually going to turn right instead of left, this is a race you definitely do not want to miss. going to have a lot of chaos and calamity. But yeah, as always, thank you all for watching this race. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.